a brand new episode on connecting during crisis. My name is Joseph Luciano, alongside Miss Karaoke Queen, Miss Shell Clark. What's going Hello. on, Michelle? Hello, everyone, and have a how's your evening this time? <laughs> Doing good. Thank you so much. Well, All right. Welcome back, Pastor Stephen Thompson. Hey, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here once again. And also, we got another person that just came right back, Apostle Kenneth Williams, already Eagles Nest Christian Fellowship. What's going on? Good evening, everyone. Grace and peace to you all. Thank you for the opportunity, as well as the privilege to be seen and to uh, host with you guys again. Martin Lee, welcome to the show. How you doing? Hey, Martin. Martin. Hey, 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 it's so funny. And no disrespect, Mr. Williams, but when I when I logged on here, I said, oh my God, oh my God, Joe got TD Jakes on here. I just want to say that I'm going back on mute. <laughs> Number three, guys. Um, do you think this holiday, like Mother's Day, is based on biblical commitment to honor your mother and father? Pastor Kenny, will you want to share that? I didn't hear your question clearly, uh, Minister Joseph. I'm sorry. Do you think this holiday, like Mother's Day, is based on biblical commitment to honor thou mother and and father? Um, you do. I think that Father's Day is honored on the basis of the biblical command. Um, and if you put it in comparison and such as Mother's Day, uh, the answer would be no, absolutely not. Because <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're commanded, I'm going to say that again, commanded to honor our father and our mother. And that word honor means to hold in highest esteem or in high esteem. And so due to, um, I believe that Martin mentioned and, and Michelle Clark, that there were you know, uh, absentee fathers. And when you have a father that's absentee, um, it opens up the doors for certain unwarranted impacts upon the child's life and it leaves a, uh, just a stigma. And so God didn't say honor them on the basis of their imperfections or their great strengths. He just said honor them, period. So we are required to honor we're commanded to honor, I'm sorry. So to put it in comparison to Mother Day, absolutely not. Um, I feel like, you know, we're slighted, <laughs> okay? <laughs> no. Because you know, the, you know, on Father's Day, I mean, Mother's Day, you go out, most restaurants, you can't find the seat. Um, they're booked. You can't get a reservation in. Um, you cut the TV on, you go on, the internet and there's all kinds of mother day sales. But you know, us fathers, you know, feel like we, we you know, to me, we get the bottom of the totem pole. That's good. That's good. You go, That's to, good. You go to a restaurant, you can find a seat. Wow. Okay. You can find about 30 seats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, there are Father's Day sales, but it's not like in comparison to Mother's Day. But it's to each his own. To each his own. I try to make the best of it. Um, I honor the fathers that are in my life, that are, you honor what's most important to you. I honor my natural father, which is Kenneth Williams Sr., my my stepfather, Reginald Dupree Sr., and then my spiritual father, Apostle Richard J. Halls Sr., them of the three fathers that I've been blessed to have in my life, and all three have made a tremendous impact, you know, in my life. Uh, that's good. Pastor Stephen, let's like wrap this up. The last question. Okay. Well, yeah, I just, I just agree with my brother, Apostle Kenny, you know, and um, the, the honor, you know, you, you, you can't equate what the Bible tells us to do as it pertains to honoring in one day. Real talk, like, I, because the, the best way you honor your father is through your behavior. The best way you honor your parents is by living a life and 
um, wa walking and participating in life in the way that they raised you and trained you and equipped you to do so. That's how you honor them. And in retrospect, living any other way contrary to their teachings is how you dishonor them when they have raised you the right way. So, you know, what the, what, what the Bible speaks about when it's talking about honoring your parents, it's talking about a lifestyle that reflects what they have imparted into you, not just, you know, getting, you know, a tie and a pair of socks and some wife beaters, you know, that's not honor at all. So I have to agree with my brother. It's not even close. It's not even close. That's good. That's good. Can, can I add a quick oh, answer to that? Thanks. I wasn't meaning on the basis of what you were just, uh, what you just shared, uh, Apostle Stephanie. What I mean is that regardless of, we all have imperfections, just like a father and a mother do. And sometimes those imperfections, they stand out like a sore thumb. I've been taught and raised, regardless of what it is, you honor. Because at the end of the day, regardless of what the situation is, that's still your father, that's still your mother, period. So I'm going to honor, that's a command, honor them, respect them, pay homage to them, honor them. We don't have a choice in regards to, and I'm speaking from just as a, a, a believer and a follower of Christ. Now, if you want to speak from the other pendulum, then, you know, people choose to do whatever it is they desire to do. You know, it's enough that both fathers and mothers, especially fathers, get a bad bum rap, whether they absentee, whether, you know, they get, you know, tagged for whatever the issues and shortcomings are and the impacts that have left upon their children and the families as whole. But how much difference would it make if we just, we don't, you know, we can't skate under the issues and challenges, but how much difference would it make if that we, we celebrate fathers, that we, we honor them, you know, as we should. That's good. That's good. Uh, Penny, thank you. Um, Michelle, unmute yourself. I agree with, with everyone here. Um, I'm gonna share this. When my father died and my brothers did not wanna go to the funeral, I made them go on the basis that yes, he wasn't the best father really, but he still was our father and he deserved to be honored and res at least respected at that time. And they were like, mm -hmm. and then they had to think about it for a minute. I said, yeah, it's in the Bible, loves, you know, honor thy mother and father. It didn't say, oh, don't honor them because he wasn't 100%. It didn't say that. It said, honor thy mother and father. And so I felt as though, like my father, he, he got a bad rap. There weren't a lot of people there. Very few people showed up. People hated my dad. They did not like my dad. And I said, well, he still deserved some respect and if we have to lay it all on the line lay all your hurts right here leave it right here but just give him the respect and i do believe that all fathers do deserve respect and honor no matter what their failings are or whatever still they're your father they're here they they'll they will turn around you know what i'm saying it's not like Oh, well, he's going to be a rap scallion all his life and hate do this. Now, there come a time where they turn around and they're like, wow, I have a child. My dad was like, oh, God, I got three kids. <laughs> three, I had six, actually, but three of them are mine. Hey, you know, but it took a long time to get to that point. And when he died, it was like, everybody was like, well, he did now. We don't care. And I'm like, still, he still deserved the honor. He still deserved the respect. That's all I got to say. That's good. Martin, you got the third question? Then yeah, I'm amen. Um, amen to everything. I, I can only just co-sign on what just everybody said because 
I can only speak from my perspective. I mean, I love my father. My brother loves my everybody loves my father. I mean, we just just growing up, he was just that dude, you know. Just you know, in anything I needed, you know, he would be there for. Him. I I I crack. I I, I um I, I joke around with him today. I said it's, it's funny because my and, and I'm gonna just give a quick example. My birthday is the other day, and I, I didn't do it for that reason. I'm, I'm not just put myself up there. <laughs> He he, uh, he 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 just cashed at me some money, whatever. I'm like, you know, he didn't even have to do all that. And I, I mean, I'm 45 years old. He had to do all that, but he wanted to do that anyway. And I and and I told him the other day. I said, Dad, you had to be cracking up because I remember growing up. I remember you had this word when I wanted something. You was like, son, I'm on a fixed budget. I want on a fixed income. <laughs> but he would still go out there. Him and my mom, they would still go out there and do it anyway. So, um, it's it's. I, 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 and, and I know the stigma, you know, of people not growing up with their dad and, what, and, and, you know, how they have different perspectives. But I've always grown up with my dad and, you know, he's always been there for me. So it's, it's almost easier for me just to honor him, whatever. But I agree, though, whether you whether he wasn't in your life or, whether he, or if he was always in your life, you know, like everybody said, the biblical command and man that is honored our father and mother. So you should always honor your father and mother. So yeah, you, that, so just to answer your question, Joe, yes, yes, yes. And just from my perspective, I just didn't, I, I never had a, you know, praise God, I never had a problem with it because I, I almost consider myself one of the lucky ones, but um, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely honor your mother and father. I'm going to my last question. That's like question four. Let's go to Apostle Kenny. Stores, businesses take the opportunity to post sales on holidays like Christmas. Do you anticipate Father's Day to do major sales shopping? Do I personally anticipate to do Father's Day sales shopping? Absolutely, 100% for sure. I would want somebody to do that for me, so I do it for those fathers who mean that much to me as well. well that's good. Pastor Stefan? Uh, yes, I'm me. No, I got it. Um, I had a, another window try to pop open on me, but um, okay. it's that we, we're in that Zoom era of communication. Um, you know, anticipate is a tricky word. Uh, <laughs> anticipate is a really tricky word. And, um, you know, I, I, do I anticipate shopping um, like other holidays? Yeah, but I don't anticipate the value. And it's not, you know, uh, it kind of going along the lines of, you know, like what um, Apostle Kenny was saying earlier. And it's ra really a tragedy when you look at it, the, the value that is placed on Mother's Day and celebrating mothers versus the value that's planned on celebrating fathers. Because if you look at it in a big, maybe except for Martin, Martin's dad sounds like he got it going on. Like it's a it's a big show. Maybe Martin's pop has, the, you know, the, the, the recipe that we all need. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna have to sit under your dad for a while, Martin. You can introduce me to Martin Sr. sometime. Um, but um, I just think like, I, and, and I mean, you know, it it kind of it kind of shows through if you ever like really listen to the types of stuff that men get. And I'm not talking about outliers. I'm not I'm not talking about the one father that's like, wow, this is a really nice watch, or wow, you guys just paid for a vacation, or someone bought me a car. I'm I'm talking about in general, and you know, like women, you know, if if you if you don't, you know, flowers and candy, that's that might as well be the, the gift card. That might that might as well be the decoration. You know, that might as well be the wrapping paper for the real gift. But you know, after you pull away everything else, you're like, oh, I really am getting socks. Okay. And yeah. but it, but I think, you know, oh, another tie. <laughs> or my favorite, world's greatest dad. That t-shirt right there. So you know, the, the um, it's there, but I mean, you know, I think with, with gift giving, and this is just personal, a lot of times we give people what, you know, we want to give them instead of what they really want and what they really desire. And I think when it comes to Father's Day, it's almost like a trinket or like, uh, like just like, here's something to, to say, I got you something. And it's really not a thought that counts type of thing. I really, I really, and I, and I, 
And for me, it doesn't really matter because in my household, they'll tell you quickly, I'm hard to shop for because Father's Day is every day and I celebrate me on some real talk. Like if there's something that I want and I desire, I don't, I don't wait, you know, for someone to do, to show it. I just, I just go grab it. And my wife is okay with it. My kids are okay with it. It's kind of just how we, and I do the same for them. We, we're, we're, I think I shared this with you about Mother's Day too, Joey. Like we don't wait till a day to show each other we love them. If I see something that I want my wife to have, I'm, she gonna get it. And the same thing for my son. If it's something I can get him that I know he'll enjoy, I love him all year long. I don't have to wait for his birthday or Christmas to, you know, acknowledge and give him, you know, a, an object of appreciation. But just to get back to your question, retail, yeah, there's shopping going on. They're they're bombarding the men's section of Ross and Burlington and Marshalls. They're they're buying all the cheap aftershave up. I was there the other day, but I I, I look for you know you know a, a a little more. It would be nice rather to see a little more equality because you know. It's something about a man feeling appreciated. And you can say what you want to say. You can believe what you want to believe. But a man feels more appreciated when he knows that he's valued. And a lot of times it's shown by, you know, you know how you present it to him. You can only get so far off of that macaroni necklace. It can only, it only <laughs> you know, that, that homemade gift card that worked in the second grade, it hits different, you know, when you have kids and everything like that. But um, that's 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 my take on that question. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Martin, forgot about you. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll jump in. And and yeah, you know, Pastor Stephanie, I'm I'll be honest with you. Uh, yeah, you on point about what you said. But you know, it took me. I don't even say it took me that long. But you know, I I just know in your adult years, you just know how to appreciate people a lot more, or whatever. So yeah, when I was a kid, whatever, you know, took it for granted, you know, this is what dad's supposed to do, this is what I'm supposed to do. But when you when you get older, you really think about it, you know, you really appreciate just everything that they've done for you, whatever. So that's why I get, you know, you know, just you know, just just when I speak about my dad, I, I can speak about my mom in the same way. But when I speak about my dad, you know, it's just in such high regard. But just to answer your question, Joey, um, I don't think so. When you're talking about Christmas and Mother's Day and everything. It's never going to, I don't think in this country is ever going to be valued because we don't really value the man that much. We don't uh, put too much emphasis on, you know, men, um, it, you know, and, and what they bring to the table and, and, and just, you know, just the value of a man. So just from a marketing perspective, I don't see this country ever celebrating Father's Day to the point of Christmas. Um, it could happen. Because, you know, I, I mean, we're in 2022, we, you know, we don't know how the next generation is going to turn out. I mean, hopefully, you know, uh, you know, fathers are appreciated going forward and maybe it'll, and, and maybe it can happen. It, I mean, it's so funny, you know, from generation to generation, we're always changing. So it's always hope. But just looking at it now, I don't think that um, it will ever be at that level whatsoever. Just from a marketing perspective, you know, like Pastor said, yeah, they'll pack out to the department stores and get the ties and all that other good stuff. But, um, you know, it, 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 as far as celebration wise, just because the man, the, the value of a man is so undervalued, I don't think it's ever going to be at that level. But that's just my perspective. That's awesome. You guys got final remarks. Final remarks, everyone? Like, Final remarks, Apostle Kenny. Say final remarks. You didn't. You didn't go to Michelle yet. Uh, that's okay, because I agree with everything you said. Because <laughs> it's not equal. It is not equal. I mean, like, like Stephen said, what? Wife beaters, socks, ties, watches. That's it. <laughs> you know, maybe some fishing gear. There's not much choices there, are they? But but then again, that's also telling folks, y'all don't have much uh, sincerity about the person. You can come up with something better than that. I know if, if my dad was alive or something and we were closer, I would do something different. I would find his favorite cake, um, give him a cupcake with a happy Father's Day, something, something that shows it's from the heart, not just something from the store that they, you, the society says, this is what dads deserve. That's all I have to say. 
You deserve more than socks and t-shirts. <laughs> That's awesome, Michelle. Thank you so much. Um, Farley Marks. That's how you miss me, Michelle. Farley Marks to you. Well, um, happy Father's Day, everybody. <laughs> That's my fun, everyone. <laughs> Toss again, Farley Marks. Well, thank you for the opportunity to be as a panelist on this platform, uh, Minister Joseph. Um, to all of you who are fathers, or your surrogate fathers, happy pre-Father's Day to you. I pray you enjoy a wonderful Father's Day with your family and loved ones. God bless you. And again, thank you so much, Minister Joe, oh, no, as hey, well as the panelists. Oh, well, thank you. Well, by the way, Pastor Kenny's feeling much better after she had the COVID. We were all praying for you the last time <laughs> you last time was on. He was the last time was on episode six before this mm -hmm. all happened. We've been praying for you that time. Mm -hmm. Remember that Pastor Kenny episode six? Absolutely. And again, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, the prayer of the righteous man developed much. That's awesome. Pastor Steph, Steph final remarks. Yeah, I was just, you know, I mean I'm in a, I'm in an interesting space right now, mentally and um emotionally. And um, you know, don't wait till Father's Day, but um, because you know that's what the show is, and make sure you you let your fathers and everybody important in your life know how much you love them. Don't wait, don't hesitate, because you don't know, you know, with, with the mass shootings, I hate to make this a moment about that, but with the mass shootings, you never know when it's going to be last time you get the opportunity. So, so make so make every time, treat it like it's the last time, and don't take it for granted. I kiss my wife every day I leave the house. I pray, pray over my wife every morning before I leave the house, and I pray for my sons, and I always let them know that I love them because I'm not wishing that upon anybody, but I don't want to be looking back and said, man, the last, the last time I saw my wife or my father or my mother, I forgot to tell them I love them or I didn't hug them or I didn't kiss them. So, you know, let's be good to one another. Let's be kind to one another. Cause you know, forget tomorrow being promised, you know, you may, you may drop your kids off at school and not see them again. You know, that, that, that's how, that's, that's how real it is. That's how we live. And, you know, Again, like I said earlier, don't it does, you don't have to wait till Father's Day. You don't have to wait till Mother's Day. You don't have to wait till a birthday or anniversary or Christmas to let the people in your life know that you care about them. And matter of fact, I encourage you, make sure you do it often. And as, as because if you don't do it, you may be the only person that does it, you know. So let them know. That's my closing remark. That's awesome. That's one more. Martin, Martin. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Happy Father's Day, gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, Pastor Stephan, I echo it. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to be too long with this, but man, uh, you know, after that shooting, to hear fathers are, are concerned about their kids even going to the mall nowadays. When we grew up, we, we just went to the mall, whatever. It wasn't such a big deal, whatever. I don't know if you guys in Philly, whatever, but, you know, we had this thing called the gallery downtown, whatever, and, you know. We was down there like whatever. It's no big deal, whatever. But to have that concern about your kids going, so yeah, yeah, definitely love on your kids, whatever. Love on your families, absolutely. And Joe, I didn't know you were a minister, man. So props to you, okay. Minister Joseph. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, again, happy Father's Day, everybody. Again, awesome, so awesome show, Joe. I really appreciate you inviting me back. Also, the next episode, I mean, I'm gonna invite you guys back from the. We're gonna do a mass shooting one. We, I got that set in the bag. You guys be ready on that, okay? That's a seven, Pastor Kenny. Yes, and sir. Absolutely. Next time, I, I will have another one on the next episode. Uh, make sure you get on this one. This is going to be a real good one. We was just all working on this one about the shooting mess, but let you know. <laughs> anyway, let me get back on it. But this is Joe Luciano, Martin Lee, Pastor Stephen Thompson, Apostle Kenneth Williams, and Michelle Clark. Thank you so much for tuning in on Connecting During Crisis. And I'll talk to you later and have a nice spot. Say, everyone, and stay safe, everyone. Hi, I'm Michelle Clark, and I am a Philly Cam TV production crew member. Why don't you join us in, at Philly Cam? You'll enjoy it and you'll have a lot of fun. You'll meet people, you'll see some stars every now and then. So come, come join us at Philly Camp. See you next time.